the Leica MT, one of the latest in Leica's film selections. This camera was released in 2003 and reintroduced many of the legendary features of the M3 and kept many of the useful features of the M6, a perfect combination of the M3 and M6. The film advance lever is metal like the M3s and the film rewind knob is the same as that of the M3 as well. Loading the film is the same as the M6. To load the film, you open the bottom plate right here. Pop open the cover, drop in the roll of film, slide the film over, make sure it catches on the spool, and that's it. The spool is built into the camera like the M6. And it is now like the M3 where you have to remove the spool to load the film. The ISO wheel right here, they went with their own ISO wheel for the MP. Own as in a, just special to this camera. If you look at the ISO wheel on the M6 and the M3, you'll notice the difference. This is the ISO wheel on the M6. And this is the wheel you have on the M3, which is completely metal. This is the one complaint that I have about this camera. The ISO wheel on the MP feels very plastically, plasticky and uh, does not feel very durable, unlike that of the M6, which was also made out of plastic but feels more durable. And the M3 uses an all metal construction, so. This is the one complaint I had because if you're going to make a camera that's supposed to be the perfect combination of both and supposed to be the best, the Leica line that we have so far, then why are you going with the plastic uh, component? Why not just finish it off with metal? I also wish they went with the bigger dial for the shutter speed. I really like the M6 TTL dial. Uh, which is bigger than the traditional M6 Classic dial. But uh, it's not really a big deal for me. I can still operate this camera fine. It's very well balanced weight-wise and feels good in your hands when you're operating this camera. The shutter release button right here is something that does not come with the camera. This is something I installed on my own. And Overall, I do enjoy shooting with this camera. Now, would I recommend this camera to everyone? No, because for a third of the price of this camera body, you could get a Leica M3, a perfect condition Leica M3. I mean, perfect as in excellent and um, fixed up and almost looks like the original. Um, and you could also get a well-working M2, as a matter of fact, for a third of this price. And you could also get a Summicron lens and an M3 body or an M2 body for the price of a body of the MP. So it's really up to you as to whether you want to get this camera. This camera is really for the dedicated Leica fans and the people who believe in Leica and who are willing to uh, spend the money to have the experience with shooting uh, with the best of the best that Leica has to offer uh, film-wise. So it's really up to you. Uh, next, I'll show you some pictures that I've taken with this camera. And if you like this video, give me a like and drop a comment if you want. Oh, I forgot to mention one thing. So for the viewfinder on this camera, you have three options. 0 0.58, 0 0.72, and 0.85. And the viewfinder is made out of an anti-flare glass, which you did not find on the M6, and it helps you uh, when you're focused on the camera uh, get that glare out of the way. So that is an additional touch that is very nice. And um, I do appreciate that. But uh, that's really all I have for this camera. And uh, I hope you enjoyed the pictures. Thanks.